It's an international trip without even leaving the city. That's right. I checked out this homegrown business run by a husband and wife team where snacking is their way to take you around the world at a place that's down the street. So the inspiration comes from moving to New York City, living there for eight years, and traveling internationally throughout that eight years. I really would love to see Detroit broaden its horizons with some more multicultural love in the food. Um, we love our conies and we love our pizza and our tacos and our, our burgers, but if you could step outside the box and if you go on a vacation and um, have their food, meet the people, listen to the stories, where this food maybe comes from. It just becomes a part of you. It becomes more special, and I wanted to bring that back here. Like a taste of Japan through onigiri. It's a pretty simple item. It's a rice ball with a certain filling. In this example, fried shrimp. And then it's wrapped in a nori sheet, which is a uh, dried seaweed sheet. A taste of Germany. It is a bratwurst with a sweet, spicy ketchup curry sauce and a side of french fries and a little dollop of mayo. That's the European way. And even a sprinkle of Italy on the menu. A thick cut slice of soft baguette with different cheeses and different tapenades. At this quaint neighborhood cafe, they hope to inspire learning about cultures as a way to build bridges and create understanding. We don't have a huge tea culture here in Detroit. I am a tea lover, so I wanted to bring something a little bit different to the shop. Over 50 types of teas to be exact. Ipoto is from Kyoto, and they specialize in all green teas green teas you might not know about. Wittered is from the UK. You'll find them through uh, England, Scotland. Kuzmi originally started in Russia. Um, it now headquarters in, in France. And I got a first-hand lesson in making one of my favorites. So when we talk about teas, one that we hear a lot about is matcha. Yes, so matcha is um, basically a green tea in a powder form. So today, we, I thought it'd be fun to prepare a ceremonial matcha. Okay. I'm about it, so how do we put this together? Okay, so you start with your matcha bowl. We had the authentic tools to sift the matcha. Should I mash it? Yeah, like, mash it and okay. just get it right all browned up, and then it's a real fine powder. Add water at the perfect temperature. Pour it right in there. Whisk away. There's the froth. Yeah, there it is. Keep going, girl. And my favorite part, the tasting. Go for it. You want me to try it? Okay. Yes. It smells so good. Yes, it's very earthy, grassy, and delicious. You it's like? Good. I do like it's it. It's all yours. And if you're in the mood for something sweet while sipping on your unique tea, there are a variety of freshly baked goodies for you to try. So when you're looking for something from around the world, you can find it right around the corner at Snack Camp.